Hey, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today, more of House of the Dragon, Season 2, Episode 1, A Son for a Son. Now, thoughts on the previous season and episodes, they're back there. Uh, it's been like six years, it feels like, since the first season concluded, but we're here. The show's been back on for a couple weeks now, but I've avoided everything. I'm mostly curious with Rhaenyra sending one... Rhaenyra, right? I, I, there's so many names and they're similar. S sending each of her sons, you know, to, to parlay, one with the Baratheons. And we saw how that ended <laughs> with with him and his dragon getting chimmy chomped. But then the other kid was going off to talk to uh, the Starks. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, that part of Westeros again. But even though she got word that one of her kids is dead, I don't know if that word has gotten out to the kid who's going out to the Starks, right? Like, I don't know when in the timeline we're going to pick up as far as that's concerned. Because, like, the kid could be at at Winterfell and then get a raven, you know. Those faster-than-dragon ravens across from the ocean to, to say, holy shit, what the hell. I, you know, I, I, I was also going to start talking about Damon, and then I realized, you know, there's, like, 20 characters on each side of this conflict, and some of the plot points have been spoiled by either Joffrey or uh, the histories of Westeros between season stuff. You know, from the original Game of Thrones shows. So I know some of what's going to happen, uh, but I don't know how we're going to get there. But my favorite scene from the first season was uh, when King Viserys, the doors open and he, he pimp walked his ass up there with the plague mask on, you know, just towards the throne. And when, when his crown fell off and Damon helped, you know, helped him get back up and put it on, put the crown on him and, and give him a little bow like that. That, just that walk up and those two brothers interacting. Favorite scene of the first season. The first season was, I don't want to say plagued with time jumps, but off the bat they had no problem speeding along in time. And they kind of had to do that to set up the backstory of, uh, of these two queens, as it were. <laughs> our green queen and our black queen. Yeah, we gotta see how that's gonna unfold. I keep I keep telling myself that I'm upset that I know certain things, but it's also, uh, you know, the way, another way to think about it is all these characters are dead because it's like 150 years before Game of Thrones. So all these people are already dead. And then another way to think about it is they're not even people. They're fictional entities. So, you know, we, we can abstract away the pain. All right, I've been rambling on for about six minutes now. We're going to cut it down to something shorter and get on with it. So here we go. Season two, episode one, House of the Dragon, a son for a son. Here we go. Do -do -do -do. Yeah! <laughs> I'm not skipping this intro. I'm sure this is done with CGI, right? But I'm just trying to imagine stop motioning, weaving as a method, as a technique. Germany. <laughs> Sorry, it just reminded me of Dark. Duty is sacrifice. The music. It eclipses all things. Uh, yeah. Even blood. All men of honor must pay its price. Since the days of the first men, we have stood as guardians against the cold and the dark. Is a black rock gonna be in Night's Watch? Torrin Stark began a tradition by making an offering at the onset of winter. One in ten men from our household was to be chosen to fortify the watch. This is not a sentence, but an honor. A duty embraced by all who serve the North. He seems pretty indoctrinated. <laughs> I'm just thinking about like an Imperial Guardsman in the Warhammer universe being, being this ready to go. This is only a late summer snow, my prince. In winter, will cover all you see. And all memories of warmth will be forgotten. It pleases me to think that over a century ago, our ancestors treated in this very place. You, at least, had the mercy not to threaten me with your dragon. I didn't even realize that was one of her kids. Yeah. One of those strong boys. <laughs> Surely the great 
Torrens Stark would have sooner died than bent the knee. Unless he believed the Conqueror could bring unity to the Seven Kingdoms. Is that ice? The realm will soon tear itself in apart. a different hilt. If men do not remember the Damn. sworn, Starks do not forget their oaths, my prince. But you must know that my gaze is forever torn between north and south. I need my men here. Whilst your men guard against wildlings and weather, the High Towers plan to usurp the throne. My father brought King Jaehaerys and Queen Alessand to see the wall. His grace stood at this very outlook and watched as their dragons, the greatest power in the world, refused to cross it. Yep. Do you think my ancestors built a 700 foot wall of ice to keep out snow and savages? What does it keep out? Death. I have thousands of grey beards who have already seen too many winters. I can ready them to march at once. If your greybeards can fight, the Queen will have them. The ravens arrived. Urgent news from Dragonstone. Like, I wasn't... Ooh, the no news from Dragon... This is what I was wondering in the intro. Like, would news reach him or not? This Jason Lucerian, right? Which one? I get their names mixed up. When she pulled up last season in the pit. Take your mount again. We're flying out. I alone patrol over a hundred miles of open sea endlessly to hold the blockade. Melis must gorge and rest, as must I. We're going to King's Landing. To what end? Killing Vagar. I cannot face that hoary old bitch alone. We can kill Vagar and her rider. Make it a son for a son. Title drop. Was this the Queen's command? The Queen remains absent. I should be at Harrenhal, bending knees, but I must instead remain here to wage her war. She has been gone for days. Too long she is exposed. She is grieving. The mother grieves as the Queen shirks her duties. It was only when I saw my daughter's mortal remains that I could begin to mourn her. A raven has told Rhaenyra that her son is dead. She needs to know it for certain. She was a fool to go alone. She went... She went alone? She has not acted on the vengeful impulse that others might have. If you'd have acted when you had the chance, Egon's line would be extinguished. Damn. Well, well, it wasn't her responsibility to end the whole show at the end of season one and just, you know... <laughs> Fly with me. It is a command. Would that you were the king. <laughs> He's still just Prince Damon, even though his wife is a queen that doesn't ascend him to kingship automatically, I guess. Hey, Valerian pimp walk. My lord. It's a marvel she was able to return from the Stepstones at all. Seven more ships put out to sea this morning to fortify the blockade. The gullet is fast, and we're not like to have the numbers to cover all that open water. That's the second time they've mentioned the block. Right! The blockade of King's Landing. That was the plan. He said, you have my navy last season. But I'll have a word with my brother to see what reinforcements the shipwrights can muster. I had this commission for Prince Lucerus. Mm. I'm very sorry to hear about your heir's death. It was the blackest of treacheries. That guy talking to him, his father, from, a uh, 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 Raised by Wolves. I knew I recognized him. ...that dragged my body out of the sea. It was only my duty. I am indebted to you, Alan. I still want to... I know the show was cancelled, but a third season of Raised by Wolves would have been great. Cancelled by this same channel network. Same with Westworld, this channel network. The last two seasons of Game of Thrones, this channel network. We're gonna... Find your post. Yeah, aren't those aren't the brothers Eric and Eric? So like which one is which Dragon! I'm the Scorpion! 
you know. Hold! Stand down, it's my car! Stand down! Big boy! All oh, right, mumbling prophetic <laughs> Targaryen. What do you need of him? Take him into the small council. He'll be king one day. He must begin his instruction. What if he does not want to be king? Where is he? The library. You must not interrupt his custom. They'd be fools to come with Vagar protecting the city. Not the dragons. The rats. Coded message. Okay, shit. I honestly thought she was getting her toes sucked by what's his name, but this is uh, more explicit. There's a chill in the air. We cannot. Again. Last time, swear. Yes, your grace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This dude has bagged two queens, if you want to think about it that way. The rats. Hmm. Grace? Or is the small council the nest of rats? That's who to watch out for. Otto! Yeah, Otto was Luna's dad in the Harry Potter movies. I was watching a reaction to them recently, and someone and they were like, Is that Otto? And I was like, Holy shit, it is! Our letters to the Vale and to the North continue to go unanswered. Cunts. My brother is raising the strength of the West to mask the Golden Tooth, but we... Yeah. Thank you, my prince. That's, that's very helpful. My letters to Rhaenyra. Has there been any answer? An apology for her dead son? None, Your Grace. Between that and their blockade of the gullet, we must presume that the princess has refused the offered terms. Is the heir to the throne bothering you, Tyland? No. No, no not, not in the least, Your Grace. Because I think he wants a ride. Your Grace. A, a ride. A pony ride. Giddy up, fucker. Let's go. No time for amusements, Thailand. Your Grace. Off you go, Jaehaerys. Good boy. Aemon, what is your business here? The king summoned me. You do not have a seat at this council. Aemon is my closest blood and our best sword. I welcome him. The path to King's Landing is through the Riverlands. We must establish a toehold there. Fat old Lord Tully will either raise my banner or see his burn. We should fly to River Run. You are the king, Your Grace. You must not put yourself at risk. And Vagar is needed here to deter Rhaenyra from attacking, in retribution for the death of her son. You must now favor patience and restraint. I send ravens by the hour. Many and more houses will declare for you in time. History and precedent will come to your side. I had come earlier to have a word before the small council convened, but your handmaiden said that you were indisposed. Getting my shit tossed by so you Sir Kristen to... Cuckery. They produced rather interesting details, but I am satisfied I have exposed all who betrayed our trust. And what of them? They no longer breathe our air. I've chosen your new staff personally. Mm, yes, yes, yes. So now you'll have people really close to her. Great. Give, give me that. Your grace? Just leave me. Just, li just, leave, just leave me. Dragon wing. Dragon wing. Oh, oh, I, I don't like a dragon wing was washing up. I'm like, that's highly coincidental. <laughs> oh, no, dragon wing. Oh, right, right. This was the whole, you know, hearing it by Raven wasn't enough thing. Got it. Magnanimous. The Magnanimous. Yeah. 
What's your name? Gra uh, Gerard, Your Grace. Good morrow, Gerard. And how might your king be of service? My flock, a, a tenth of them taken by the crown. You need your goats for the winter, don't you? Sheep, your, your grace. Sheep, even better. I shall make your flock of sheep whole. We already made a promise to all the crown lands that a tithing of livestock would be necessary to sustain the dragons for their increased activity and pray not. Perhaps we could just return his sheep. He came all this way. If you return one herd of sheep, your grace, you'll soon find them all at the foot of your There was a very similar safe. thing with uh, Danny oh, no. when she was in Marine. After further thought, I have decided that I cannot restore your sheep. If war were to break out, my dragons will require feed. Bring the next. Hugh, your grace. The smiths are all proud to support your grace against Rhaenyra. But, but, <laughs> iron costs have grown. A lone scorpion takes weeks to build. You shall be paid, and paid well. My army cannot win a war without your weapons. You should continue their making. Our victory depends on the efforts of the small folk. You have my most sincere gratitude, Your Grace. That was his way of saying, no, Otto, I, I got this. I was only a boy when Jeharis last graced the seat, but you brought forth memories of him, and you have such a deft touch with the small folk, just as your father did. Is the hands want? Keep a firm grip on things. Mm. You controlled your father the same way. Otto Hightower was your father's hand, your grace. Yeah, you need. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that old dismissing your father's guy to get your own person in there. I find myself wondering: Do we pursue the same end? I must admit, there are days where I myself can't be sure. And how would you define victory? Rhaenyra bending the knee, and Aegon sitting the Iron Throne in peace. I sit there and I feel your anger. Frustration. These critical days since Viserys is passing haven't gone to plan. That's not my fault. My sons both see you as the great example. The hand to three kings. Aegon is ever eager to prove himself, and Aemon. Aemon is angry, and Aegon still heeds me. In private, at least. But if you undermine my voice, both those boys will grow deaf to it. We only need to mind Egon until the novelty of rule is spent. Once he tires of it, you and I can steer our cause to victory. A fine strategy, daughter. But you must accept that the path to victory now is one of violence. But that does not mean it must be wanton. That's nice of her to want to show some restraint. Both queens have. Search the home for stowaways. You. White worm. Or when last we met, there were two of you. The white worm. Yeah. Did you think I would wither in your absence? I did not think you would flower a traitor. You speak of highborn games. You only blame me because your true enemies are out of reach. My arrangement with the Hand was purely transactional. I held no loyalty to him. Is he letting her live? He usually isn't the type to let people live, yeah, I remember. Have her moved to the cells. She is to be treated as a traitor to the Crown. For the lady speaks the truth. She was no agent of Hightower's. What is it to you? A matter of honor. Egon was in your grasp. You should have killed him yourself. I reckon I were names of the King's Guard are just eight and ten. And we swore the same oath to defend the whole of the royal family. So what were we to do when they turn against one another? I would say that that's our queen coming home. Yeah, it's interesting that he brings up what are we to do. And he's got a twin on the other side, so... Does one have a beard and one doesn't, or one has long hair and one doesn't? If they get into a fight, how am I supposed to tell who wins? I will fly to Harrenhal at your command and set our toehold in the Riverlands. 
Your Grace, my Lord Husband's blockade of the gullet moves into place. All seaborne travel and trade to King's Landing will soon be cut off. I want Aemond Targaryen. <laughs> okay, uh... You surely accumulated spies within the Red Keep. Servants who knew the comings and goings. Skim with someone else, Damon. I was once in your thrall, but no longer. Your knowledge in exchange for your freedom. Two thousand men. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they gotta they gotta have this emotional moment. The, the duty can wait just just a minute. Florence. They're doing a good job of showing each queen trying to exercise restraint and also showing respect to the dead. I wanted to make a Davos joke, but he would not be alive for a long time still. And told you bear a mislike for the high towers. Fuck the high towers. The white worm said you're one of Egon's rat catchers. You must be busy. That castle positively crawls with them now. I heard the white worm was dead. Her ghost told me you were a betting man. Fighting pits. Dogs. And bones. I was also given to understand that you possess a unique knowledge of the Red Keep. My ghost tunnels. Great big rat's nest it is. You're to find and slay the Prince Aemon Targaryen. He has silver hair and one eye. Should be easy enough to find. It's one half. You'll get the other when it's done. All right. What if we can't find him? No castle would dare to raise Rhaenyra's banner against us. He would bring the whole of the crown lands to heal in weeks. Well, mayhaps we could petition the king. My brother is hostage to my grandsire and mother. And they tell him that a war of dragons can yet be avoided. It is inevitable. And they must see that. She has a gentle heart. And Rhaenyra is a cunning spider. Long ago she drew Alison into her web. It is not your mother's fault. She holds love for our enemy. That makes her a fool. Lord Hand. <laughs> he won't stay for his grandfather. <laughs> it would concern me, grandson, if plans were being considered beyond the ears of your king and his hand. You and Vega are the greatest single power in the realm. But there are many pieces at play here. Some of which you can't yet see. I promise you, Aemon, you will have all the vengeance that you seek, but you must keep a grip on your impulses. We both know that your brother cannot. Appealing to him. Very good, Otto, but... I can only wonder if Aemon sees what's going on. Damn, straight to the throne room. Okay. Oh, they're posing as rat catching. Okay. The equivalent to I'm the contractor or the pizza guy or something wandering through. Different group of rat catchers worthy upstairs. If we're to kill a royal fucking prince, where do you think we're gonna find him? I got you in the castle. <sighs> I'm my way upstairs. I just don't know my way around. Fuck off. <laughs> You asshole, what the fuck? It looked like a CGI dog when he kicked it, so that's good. No this pixels way. were armed in the recording of this kick. Did you not hear the prince? No aid. No gold. <laughs> For the rats. Is the new staff gonna know all the rat catchers, though? <laughs> Fuck is she? <laughs> She's the queen. She is. A son for a son, he said. Oh. 
but the son for a son. To get out it and get out. The 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 baby, but it's supposed to be Amon, not the baby. They both look the same. Which one's a boy? Maybe that one. Which? Who could we be stalling for? Because this can't be how the, the, these three go. No. She's telling true. Hold him down. Sawing off the head. Holy fuck. She's just, I mean, she's always spaced out, but now she's fucking, like, shocked, too. It just, it just, it, there's no guards that could just happen to the queen and, and the queen's kids. They killed the boy. Just like that. Damn. All right, I don't expect anything in these credits, but uh, yeah, see you in the outro. A son for a son. As Allison grows concerned by Aegon's small council, Rhaenyra arrives at a fateful decision. Okay. All right, so that was the episode. It is good to be back into the show. I like that they touched base with a little bit, with the North and, and the son that was sent to talk to the Starks there, and... And then a little bit with uh, White Snake or White, yeah, White Worm, yeah. And we had that check-in with uh, Pimp Master Valarian limping around and checking on things. So the blockade is in full swing. Uh, the veil will stand with us, us being, you know, Rhaenyra and Daemon. The North will send some of its graybeards. And we saw a little bit of the planning of uh, King's Landing and anticipating where they'd have to fortress down or where they could burn out the blockade or what they'd want to do next. But I'm just, I, 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 I'm having trouble thinking past the whole, the rats thing, you know, vision or cryptic message that the Queen had earlier in the episode. And, th and then the rats at the end of the episode and uh, the death of the child and... Uh, they, they killed the boy. We saw Kristen Cole with Allison on two separate occasions, so it's not like some passive thing or what wasn't wasn't she, but wasn't she saying it had to stop or it was going to be over now or something? And 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 then at the end just walks in the queen on them, you know, just fucking in the bed. Like so, is it like oh we should stop or that was the last time? And then it's like every time is the last time, you know, moving the goalposts. Anyway, there is a lot here. I'm not going to delve too deep into it. I mean, you all, by the time I release this, have seen the episode. And so many, and probably watched other people react to it. So you've been beaten to death with analysis and thoughts. So uh, I'm not going to give you any more of those. So that's going to do it for me for now. Thank you so much for being here. I'm looking forward to the next episode and hope to see you soon. Thanks again and goodbye. <laughs>